Welcome to Agriculture Academy where we show you how to start a profitable business in agriculture. Remember to like and subscribe so that you never miss out on any new videos. The outbreak of COVID-19 in Wuhan and the subsequent spread to over 180 countries has had a devastating impact on the lives of billions of people. New phrases like social distancing have become commonplace and people are embarking on a new way of life. Everything we have taken for granted seems a distant memory and a realization of what is important has dawned on us. Many countries and cities are in total lockdown. Businesses, schools, universities and non-essential activities are closed. Only critically important industries are operating. The scope of the economic and social impacts of the pandemic is still unclear, but one thing is certain, it will be severe. This brings up the question, how will this pandemic influence food production, distribution and supply? There are several factors that we can consider when we try to understand the influence of this pandemic on food security. The following points can be made. 1. Currently, agriculture is experiencing severe supply chain backups and interruptions. China is a major supplier of ready-made crop protection products, active ingredients and fertilizers. The distribution of these products has been severely impacted by supply chain interruption and this will influence global agriculture production. 2. The closure of schools and restaurants has impacted the demand for certain products. The dairy industry has taken one of the hardest hits. Bloomberg reported U.S. dairy farmers dumping milk in response to declining demand. Similarly, the BBC gave reports of backed-up supply and distribution chains that have forced UK and Canadian dairy farmers to do the same in order to prevent an oversupply and protect prices for long-term survival. 3. The demand for restaurant niche products like mini-vegetables and garnishes has all but collapsed. 4. Small and large-scale farmers are struggling economically and might go out of business. Several financial aid packages have been supplied by governments to mitigate this situation. 5. Unemployment and lower economic activity will impact demand as well as produce choice in the long run. 6. Travel restrictions have put a strain on seasonal labor supply for harvesting in developed countries like the UK, Germany and the US. 7. Airline closures and limited cargo flights are impairing the access of exporters to markets which has resulted in the decreased availability certain produce. 8. Conversely, one of the industries who have seen a boost in demand in response to the virus is Spanish citrus farmers. They have reported a spike in demand for the fruit due to the high vitamin C content. Future trends. The pandemic has exposed the vulnerability of the business supply chain and global dependence on a single supply market. This is true for both agricultural supply needs as well as for food in general. Therefore, a movement away from global supply chains to more sustainable production might be on the cards for countries, cities, communities and even households. This will likely create a shortened supply chain, and a greater awareness regarding the farm-to-table concept. Consumers will therefore start to support local businesses. The concept of producing and buying locally will grow. With this, however, we may observe increased prices for foodstuffs. We can expect that consumers will start to focus on healthier eating, and this will impact on the demand for certain produce. This means that restaurants and takeaway establishments will face an uphill battle as consumers become acutely aware of food preparation, hygiene and nutrition. Furthermore, packaging and display options will change. We have already seen the end of open fridges in retail food stores. However, the export of foods will still play a role during the off-seasons and outside certain production areas. Lastly, technology and automation will play a bigger role in developed agricultural sectors in order to meet rising local demands. With this in mind, we can pinpoint some opportunities for business, and therefore economic growth. The following opportunities might be worth exploring as we move into post-pandemic agriculture. 1. Local food production and packaging. 2. Organic food production. 3. Self-sustainable home production. 4. Production in suboptimal conditions. We already see this through hydroponic production in arid regions and avocado production in New Zealand. 5. The use of technology to solve problems. And 6. Developing niche products for specific markets. And with that, we can get a glimpse of what the future of agriculture and food supply may look like post-pandemic.
We hope that you have gained some insight into how the industry has been impacted. Thank you for watching and see you next time.